Hey everyone, this is your girl, Beautifully Underscore Brown, and I am coming to you guys with a DIY project on how I achieved this look on my Cameo military jacket. Um, so if you would like to know how I did this and how you can create your own um, jacket, please stay tuned. So the supplies you will need is a jacket, of course, hot glue gun, rhinestones, pearls, um, anything of your choice, paint, different kinds of paint, fabric paint would be the best, um, paintbrush and a needle and thread, and you need a hard surface to lay your jacket on. And now what I'm using is something just to put my jacket on top of. That was like a um, cardboard box so you can lay your jacket on, on top of because I didn't want to mess up my floor. Um, so now I'm just laying out my jacket, stressing it out. I want to design on the back of the jacket. So yeah, just getting all the wrinkles out so it can just be neat. So what I did was um, write out what I wanted on the back of my jacket. Um, I'm pretty much freehanding it. Uh, it would have been better if I would have printed out some stencils or had it more organized, but I just like to freehand it. Um, so right now what I'm doing is lining where I want the words to go. So I want it just like in the middle of the, of the jacket. And what I'm using right now is chalk, you guys. I'm sorry I should have said that in the beginning, but I'm using chalk because it would be easier for me to wipe it off when I start to mess up or go over the lines and everything like that. Okay, so right now I look like I don't know what I'm doing, so I messed up. So what I took was like a spray bottle. This is actually what I sprayed my hair with, and I wiped it off with um, a paper towel and just really going over it. So now I'm just going to redo it and see what I really want. Um, I didn't really like that font, trying to freehand stuff, messing up everything. So now, yeah, I'm getting the hang of it. Now I, I know what I want. Well, hopefully I know what I want, but I will suggest either printing out words and tracing over it or getting a stencil because it's very time consuming, freehand and stuff. Um, so the stencil and the words would definitely help those people who know exactly what type of font and didn't, didn't want to really mess up on a jacket. But this jacket I got from Goodwill anyway, so it only cost me like $5, so I really am not really um pressed about really messing this jacket up So after you get done um, writing all the words on your jacket, you want to start painting it. Um, I used a brush from my makeup kit um, because I couldn't find my paint brushes and it works just as good. Um, I'm using white fabric, um, fabric paint. Couldn't get my words out. And I'm just going over the words. So yeah, just go ahead and do that. You don't have to use white. You can use whatever color you want. But this is the color of my choice.
I'm just continuing on um, and this is the finished look of the wording and I decided I needed to add more I was talking to my friends and they were just like you need to add more so while that is drawing I am adding um, pearls to the outside pockets of the jacket and what you're gonna need is needle and thread and I laid out the pearls just to see where I want them at. I should have um, <laughs> dotted where the pearls should go, but I just freehanded it. Um, so what you're going to do is open the, the pockets and then you're going to make sure you know how to use needle and thread before you use this. Um, but anyway, you want to go from the inside of the pocket, um, pull the needle through the pocket and make sure it has a knot. And then you want to add on the pearl. Um, so slip the pearl through the needle all the way down and then you want to go back through the pocket and make sure you catch the needle and pull the um, needle out and then you want to just repeat that step over again and um, you guys then I just got tired of doing it but I do suggest if you just don't want to use needle and thread there is some type of glue from um, Joann's fabric that is it's um, embellished um, fabric glue. So it's pretty much you can glue any type of stone to any type of fabric and it will not move. So I just wanted to make sure it was very secure. And plus I didn't even have the glue. That's why I'm not using the glue, but I do suggest getting the, cl the glue because I mean, it's just easier. You don't have to use the needle and thread. And then once you notice that the thread is getting short, you want to make sure you leave enough so that you can tie the um, the thread inside the pocket. Because if you don't tie it, then your pearls are just going to go loose and they're just going to fly everywhere. So you want to make sure you tie the thread. Please tie the thread. Um, and then just start over until you get the desired look that you want. the finished look of the pearls on the pockets of the front of the jacket so now that the paint is dry with the words that I just put on there and doesn't take that long for the paint to dry and now I'm just adding more stuff on the back of the jacket and the things that I'm adding is just stuff that resemble me and things that I like personally um, just like makeup hair products pretty much what my channel is based on um, so yeah, I'm just going pretty much crazy with the paint. And right now I'm just um, painting a pair of lips. First, you wanna go ahead and stencil it out. You can use a chalk or a pen. I use the pen because I'm getting more comfortable with it. And now I'm just painting over that. So this pretty much is the finished look. And how I got the splashes of paint, um, pretty much what I did was um, I opened the bottle of the paint and I just started um, sprinkling it all over the, the jacket. Pretty much went crazy a little bit. Then I got um, a pen, um, just a regular pen, and just started messing with the paint, like scribbling with the paint so that it can go like really crazy and not look very uniformed. So yeah, this is pretty much the, the finished look. So please let me know if you like my video, any suggestions. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like, um, and please leave a comment. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Once again, this is your girl, Beautifully underscore Brown.